News Channel 4 HD. Well, we're back with Ben Sargent from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Did you go to school up there? Yes, I did. Oh, where? The Commonwealth School. Oh, yes? Yes. And what did you study? Um, well, Besides surfing. <laughs> um, you know, high school. I just did high school uh -huh. there. And then uh, upstate New York, I went to college. Well, yeah. here's, here's the chowder, and it's smelling really good. He is known as the chowder guy. <laughs> and um, so what's in this pot? OK, we have our potatoes, our onions, fennel, a uh, little bit of garlic, and that's sauteing. Sauteing in how much oil? Um, you know, just enough to coat the bottom of the okay. pot, basically. OK. Yep. And, and so the stir. potatoes get soft like that? Yeah. New potatoes? Yeah. OK. Yep. And it's so, OK if they stick a little okay, to the bottom. OK, but how long? 15 minutes okay. on this. 20 minutes is good. Just getting them good. started, OK? Yep. yep. And then? OK. And then, basically, we can throw in about a half stick of butter. OK. Yep. <laughs> Lots of ingredients and really <laughs> and rich. delicious. Yeah, very, very rich. Yeah. Make this for a, f this is really the dinner. This is, this is a full yeah. meal yeah. here, for okay. sure, for sure. So w once you add the butter, you add the thyme. Yeah. Oh, that's thyme, right? Yum, yum, yum. Okay, fresh thyme okay. or dried thyme, right? Uh, either way. Okay, I'll, I like the fresh. I'll stir and you can add. Okay. <laughs> and here comes a little dill. My grandfather okay. went crazy with the dill. He loves dill, so that's okay. where that came from. So like a tablespoon. Yep. And then salt. Yep. We got some salt. Oh, nice, and beautiful sea salt. Gorgeous. Mm. So and like a, tab a, a tablespoon, okay. Right. And our pepper goes in. A tablespoon of that too? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yep. That's great. Yep. And then, what's, oh, is that the fat? And there's our fat. Which, that goes in now too? Yeah, we'll throw the fat in. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's giggling. I would leave that out. You know, okay. yeah. <clears throat> But, you know, for New Yorkers, I've had to thicken my chowder a little. Yeah. Bostonians like it a little more milky. Yeah, that's, yeah, so, that's what yeah, I like, right. milky. Okay. All right. So there. Very good, very so good. So they tell you that, or they just... Well, sometimes they look at a brothy chowder and they're like, this isn't chowder, oh. but your spoon is not supposed to stick straight up in your chowder. Right. You know? But yet, sometimes you, you go to a, a diner or something and they have chowder and it sticks straight with, up. Yeah, like with that. flour. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, and then and then what else? Okay, so basically what we can do now is we're just going to... This is our stock, which we... The broth from the, the clams? Yeah, oh, and boy. I like to take the first scoop from the bottom so it's real briny. Okay. Yeah, that goes in. But don't scrape the bottom because there might be sand down there. Correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have to speed up a okay. little bit. Okay, another one in. Two. Okay. So on like yeah. medium heat here? Yeah, medium to high. Okay. Yep. Keep stirring. Okay. So now we're adding the flavor of the sea with that wonderful brine, That's right. and briny, the, briny uh, yeah. liquid from the cooking clams. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the last one I just do right off the top, so it's not, you know. And then you add cream. Yep. And then I add our cream. Now look at this is just a little cream. Watch this. And you could substitute just milk, whole milk for this, milk right? Milk is actually wonderful. Okay. I mean, it, it's But you like fine. six cups of heavy cream. I like cream. heavy cream. In Part our, and a well, half. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We, we, surf, we surf all winter long. So we surf at Christmas time. And, uh, you oh, know, yeah. So yeah. you have your wetsuits on. And, yeah. And you better, you better, wet or dry? What are you wearing? Wet. Wet, wet yeah. But, you know, you're going to be burning calories. Okay. And you're going to be freezing cold when you come okay. in. So a little fat, a little cream, it's going to okay. be all right. And then when does the bacon go in? Um, we can throw bacon in right now, okay. in fact. Now, how long should this cook? Um, that, that needs about 20, 20 minutes, okay. just the way it is right there. We have there. one over here all done yep. like that. Yes, we do. And now this doesn't have the clams yet. Oh, yes, it does. Clams are in. Oh, yeah. Clams are in. Boy, this looks so great. Now, um, what isn't in here? Okay, well, what, what we don't have yet is our Peter Luger's steak sauce, which is the only bit so of New York. How does a boy I from Cambridge <laughs> know about Peter Luger's? Okay, so I'm living in Brooklyn now. Okay. And I oh. tried this stuff, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I don't put tomatoes anywhere near my chowder, but I will put a okay, little how Peter much? Luger's. Ready? We're just going to do a dash, okay? okay? Peter boop, boop, boop. Luger's. And right. five capers. Five Where, capers. Where'd you come up with five <laughs> capers? <laughs> it's like a potion. My okay. grandfather did the five capers. Okay. All right. And then, okay, oh, that is the that Peter was Luger's. It. That okay. was it. And, and then, oh, Old Bay. Old I Bay. love Old Bay. Yeah. So just a quarter teaspoon? Yep. Okay. That'll I'm do it. I'm adding that. Uh huh. And then what about that? Okay. And, you know, again, this is from my grandfather's original recipe called. So for... he had his condiment closet and you yeah. used everything in it. Exactly. And I didn't, okay. I, I couldn't take out the five capers. It's okay. like I had to keep them in there. Now, it's where sort of... do these clams go? Okay. So those actually, that's just to show you, but that, oh, okay. would, that would be in there. Can I put those at in? At this point, yes. Okay. This is going to be 
Oh yeah. boy, so you don't want to overcook these. Right. So you add those. As I was in the waiting room, they said, you know. More salt and pepper? Yes. So more salt and pepper, and then scoop it into these. Oh, here's mm -hmm. some that's all done. Beautiful. Give me a, give all me right. a mug of chowder. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, that's Perfect fine. Mugs. Yeah. Perfect mugs. In there. Okay. In there. No, that's enough. That's enough okay. for me. That's yeah, good you for you. Help yourself. <laughs> um, I haven't surfed today. I <laughs> so I like a few to little, a few little of those crunchies. Yep. And some. Oh, you have to Correct. have the little biscuits. Yeah. And do you mind one of these oh, going yeah. in, just like that? And a garnish of a raisin. A little garnish here. Thank you very like much for being here, Chowder Guy. Thanks a lot. This is Ben Sargent, and as a token of my appreciation, oh. here's a pair of tongs oh. for you. I have something for you. And Martha Stewart's Homekeeping Handbook is the ultimate guide to caring for everything in your home. Get your copy today at MarthaStewart.com shop or